Hi guys, so today you are going to be making wind chimes using seashells. And so the things you're gonna need is um, from home, you're need to, you'll need to find two sticks outside. I would suggest a bit thicker. Um, see how thick that is? You're not like, you don't want a super thin sticks, just a little bit thicker. And then you're also gonna need a pair of scissors. And then um, what came with your pack this week? Uh, you're gonna want to grab the seashells, the beads, and the fish line. And the fish line, if you don't know what fish line is or have never really seen it before, it's the really thin string. It's kind of see-through, might have a blue tent, um, and there's a bunch of that string. Um, so we're gonna make wind chimes. And the first thing that you will need to do is go find those two sticks. And um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna tie those two sticks together um, like this. So you're gonna want the, the part that goes together right in the center. And what I did was I made a double knot on one side and then I flipped it over and I made a double knot on the other side. And then I wrapped the string around a bunch of times and then finally made another double knot at the very end. So that's what mine looks like. Can you see that? It probably is blurry. I'm not a YouTuber. So you're gonna want your sticks like this. Um, and you're gonna, I use the fish line uh, to put that together, but if you have something better at home that you wanna wrap it around, that is a-okay. Um, and then, so that's gonna be your base. So that's gonna be like the top of the wind chimes are gonna look like this. Um, and then all of the seashells will go down from here. And we're gonna make, I'm gonna teach you guys how to make one of those strings and then I'll show you what the final looks like. Um, so you guys are gonna take one of your strings which is probably about a foot long, a little bit longer than a foot. And you are going to make a triple knot um, on one end. And by triple knot and double knot, I mean you make a knot just like how you tie your shoes. Um, you're going to make three of those right next to each other. That's my triple knot. Um, and a triple knot will hopefully hold the bead that you have. Um, and so the purpose is you're gonna put a bead and then the shell down. And the purpose of the bead is because some of the shell holes are a little bit bigger than the bead one. So like you can see through this one from even far away. Um, and so the, it's gonna go straight through the hole. But if you have the bead on there, um, it won't go through. Um, so what you're gonna do is towards the bottom, you're gonna make that knot. Um, and then you're going to add a bead Now it's hanging. And then you're gonna add your shell. And see how it's holding on because of the, oh, there's my camera. Um, it's staying on the string because of the bead and the bead makes it look really cool. So then next, you're gonna decide how many more shells you want on your strings. Um, so I'm gonna, and you're gonna decide where you want it. So you'll make a triple knot wherever you want it. So I want my next one about right there. Do you see where that is? So now, so I have this one still down here and this one up here, um, but I have to have these, the, the bead and the shell on here to make that knot. Um, otherwise, um, you're not gonna be able to get the bead shell down there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab another bead. This time it's a really tiny bead. So I got my little tiny bead. Put that on there. Oh, and look, it's not gonna fall. So then I'm gonna grab my shell. There we go. And I'm gonna make one more knot before making the top. My suggestion is to also make sure you have a lot of loose stuff on the top. Don't make your final knot all the way like up here because then you can't see that. Don't make your final knot all the way up here or anything because then you can't tie it. The last one you're gonna tie onto your sticks. So you wanna make sure there's a lot of space up there left. So I'm gonna make one more about right here. Do I have another knot? Knot number three. I'm gonna add. A bead so you can see it hanging and then I'm gonna add another seashell and then I'm gonna tie it onto my sticks 
Um, you can choose where you want it timed onto your stick, um, but make sure you just have all that excess of room at the top. So tying it around, um, I would suggest making the best knots that you can. So I made a double knot on the top so it's just a little bit more secure and you can see it's hanging. And then you're gonna add as many more of those as you want around and yeah. You'll repeat those steps on the rest of your strings on your wind chime and then you'll tie them all to the stick and have a beautiful wind chime. You can hang it up outside and then make sure you take a picture of your final product.